what's up guys welcome back to my channel today's video we're going to be learning how to design this logo in pixel app this is an emblem example of an emblem logo we're going to be doing this with pixel app so let's get started so first thing is i'm going to start a new page in my pixel app i'll delete everything that i have there give my background a color of my choice and i start by inserting a shape so i'm going to insert the circle I reduce the opacity completely and I add the stroke width to about 20 and then I can insert the circle so I'm going to make it big centralize it using the relative position button two buttons in the middle and then I will copy this make it smaller and I put it in the middle I also centralize it with the relative position button right now i'm going to be working on this small the smaller circle so i'll go to stroke button i'll activate it there will be a stroke width of two and i'm going to give it a black color so this is pretty much okay and then now i'm going to just centralize it in the middle like that all right so if this is not enough for you you can obviously reduce the size to the way you want all right so the next thing is I'll insert another shape which is going to be a square and I'll make it like a rectangle and then I'm also going to centralize it with my relative position button all right I'll be using these two buttons here in the middle so I'll use this one okay now it's in the middle of the design or of the two circles so the next try to put it in the middle again all right next thing is i'm going to merge all of them one two three merge perfect and i'm going to go to my erase color button and i turn it on so we'll have that part deleted the part contains the rectangle next thing is to write our text so i'm going to be writing my text and i can write here becomes graphics like that and I insert it put it in the middle the font I'm going to be using for this is going to be stereo funk so you can get this font online and use it yourself so stereo font stereo funk and I'm going to put it like that I can give uh, my text a, a black color pretty much like that all right so that's perfect okay perfect now the next is to write our other text so we have text like welcome to we're going to write welcome to all in caps i'm going to put it here and the font i'm going to be using for this is lovello you can use any other font you wish i'm going to be using lovello black is the font i'll be using for that all right now i'm going to go to my uh, spacing button and i do some spacing for my letters right up to three okay then i go to my curve button and i bend the letters like that so you can also doing this while you're working on your size Make sure you have a good size as well. Okay, when you have a good size, you won't have a lot of problems. All right, now we're going to position it right. Okay, welcome to. If it's tricky, what we can do next is we can adjust it like that. All right, also you can give this text a black color I will copy this text, bring it down, I edit it, I write star dash channel star, no dash and star, okay. So I go back to my curve button. So 
so there's a curve button this is your curve button here and i take this i curve it up like that okay right so you try, try to make sure it's properly centralized like that all right so next thing to do here is that i'm going to merge everything let me correct this top okay so the next thing to do here is i'm going to merge everything one two three four merge all right so that's what we have and then i'm going to apply this logo a texture so we're done designing the logo the next thing is just to edit it so let's give it a texture the picture go to your gallery and choose the picture to give it a texture this is it so accept that all right now the next thing is i want to give my background something like a mock-up kind of background so i'll go to my background click here to see your background editing options and then you scroll through you click from gallery then you can upload the picture you want to use this is the one i'm using and it's going to happen like that all right so my background automatically resize to the picture of the, the background right now next thing to do is come here so we can edit our background we'll go to vintage activate vintage and put it at about 110 or so all right the next thing is we go to brightness and we add it up to no we reduce it sorry to about 45 or even 50 if you wish let me just say 47 doesn't really matter all right now we have our logo like that go back to your editing options all right now let's go to now we have to go to the emboss button activate it control our light to 31 degrees our light angle should be at 31 degrees okay our intensity put it at 60 61 62 at that end ambient light should be at 40 we have ambient light at 40 spectacular hardness should be at 38 okay and then your bevel should be at 4 so your bevel should be at 504 like that all right so there we have our logo so now you can go to shadow activate shadows that is very important and you go to your y axis your x axis give it uh, minus six and offset y give it positive six now you see the effect of that shadow okay guys this is a very simple tutorial so we have our logo done and dusted so the only thing left is to save it in your phone all right guys so thanks for watching if you like this video Give it a thumbs up. Peace.